Please rest Burton. Please rest Burton. Please rest Burton. Ah, damn it. What do we do now? <laughs> Maddie. Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. He's haunting me even in Teamless. Can't believe he's not in the squad. All right, we're starting at the bottom this time. Really, for the dog side, not too much to talk about. Maxi King in the A jersey, Pangai in the 13. So I don't think this really affects too much. It's going to be now thinking about how many minutes Maxi's going to get. It's going to be the 55, 60. It's going to be back to the 40, 45. I think we give it another week or so and work out if he's going to be that big minute guy or he's not. Lukey Thompson's still out. So maybe until that happens, until he comes back, we, we stick with Kingy and, and go from there. Uh, in, in terms of the rest of the guys, Raymond Fatalamarina is in the starting jersey, but Waddell might come in and start. Not exactly sure at this point, but given that the last uh, team to play in the round, I think you can bank on Raymond getting that 60 minutes again uh, at a minimum, like he did last week. All right, Tiger side of the ball. We see Adam Dewey come back. I love that guy. Good to see him back in action. Very, very excited. For him to be returning, we see Kelma Tuolangi move into the starting role, and we actually see Lucy Lailua get an immediate release to the Cowboys. I think that really helps the Cowboys' chances this year at making some kind of finals run. I still don't think they're going to be able to win the comp in any way, shape, or form, but you know, with <laughs> with uh, Panthers and, and Storm being just absolute powerhouses that they are, but Kelma gets his spot in the number 12 jersey. Would have been nice if he had kept it, but is what it is. Uh, on that side of the ball. But that's really the big one there. And then Hastings, I think, is a sell this week, guys. If you still own him like uh, my head Ted team does, I think it's time to move him on for sure. He just the the scoring, the, the kicking's not in his game. Coming up is the Dogs, who are an absolute powerhouse team as well. Powerhouse. <laughs> Actually, the other thing to think about is Titans are now in last position, considering everyone thought, a lot of people thought that they were going to be a finals team and, and really push this year. It really just shows how important your core is experiences you know they have a great young core of, of talent but the experience isn't there captain you know tino is, has been incredible but he's still a young captain as well there's so much for them to work out but yeah for them to be in last place pretty crazy uh that one there so yeah dewey's back and that's the biggest thing for the tigers all right we're going up uh up the list now raiders v knight so on the raider side of the ball i think savage is you got to play him this week most likely, if there's a, an out or two that you've you've got, then I think Savage is going to be the one. If Whether you play him in wing fullback or he's like your last reserve. I think up against the Knights, he can have a, a really nice game here and continue the form that he's showed so far. They have a, a nice team put together this week with White and obviously back as well. And Elliot's still in the 13 jersey. If you've still got Starling, it's, you're obviously going to move him on. But uh, yeah, the rest of the guys there, really, really good uh, team that they've got going for the Raiders this week. I think they can pick up a win against the Knights. And Pong has been named. If you own him, he needs to go. I think it's just, yeah, too too little too late for, for his scoring this year. He might have a good couple of rounds at the back end of the year, but overall, scary times. So, Clem is still a great option, guys. You know, we've got Kurt Mann in 13 this time. Barnett moves to the edge, so we see no Fitzgibbon. He's been in, put into the reserve. So, very, very interesting, that selection there. So, if you're wanting Clemmer, he is the guy to pick this week in the mids, uh, other than guys like McInnes, who we'll, we'll speak about, but that's kind of the biggest news for the Knights. We head up. We've got the Eels, who pretty much named the same side there. And just looking for a bounce get back game for them. This is a really important one up against the Roosters. Very much a, a see where we're at type of game. And, and Penasini and Dylan Brown and Moses really need to step up in this one. Hopefully a 50-plus for Reedy as well. Isaiah Papali, we'd, look, we'd like to see him on an edge, but unfortunately not again. And you know, it's really strange because the amount of middles they got on the bench, you got Makatoa, Madison, Kafusi, and Brown all being middles there. And well, Madison's playing through the middle at the moment. So probably, I, I think he should be playing on the edge, but he's not uh, not great, not as great for his scoring potential. I'd yeah, say just avoid captain him, captaining him. Still a good option to bring in. Down 30K now uh, there. In terms of Joey Manu, for example, I think he's definitely a hold this week, not a bring in. Like I said last week, just with uh, just his scoring in the centers, not as good a, uh, as a fullback. Teddy, I'd be holding off until around 18 or 19 now, considering his uh, price will go down just a tad after that low score there. After you know he's had a bunch of really good games, you know the last bunch of weeks. We see Verrills come back, which you know leaves Hutchison and Watson on the interchange. So probably a fair few middle minutes be taken away from Nat Butcher there. Egan is back as well, so a bit more experience on the interchange. I think you're going to see some you know a few less minutes from Collins and Takaho. I uh, should see the 80 from Crichton and Tupanua, and probably about that 45, 50 from Butcher. Not the 80 unless there are some injuries again, like last week. So that's the talk there. Butcher, I'll just be holding until 17 now after that good score. You'll uh, you'll get a few, uh, a rise or two, 
and hopefully a couple of decent scores uh, going forward. Okay, we see some changes for the Warriors. Unfortunately, we see Ewan Aiken succumbing to that head injury assessment is what the guess is. There haven't really been any any chat around. Actually, hold on, misses a game with concussion. Yeah, he definitely uh, is out with concussion, guys. So if you still want to hold him, he's definitely a keeper still. Uh, obviously, you just need some coverage for him this week. If you have that, that would be ideal. But we see Volkman come in and get his opportunity in the six jersey. So really happy for him, young fellow that's uh, you know, applied his trade and has a lot of talent. So it'd be great to see him get his opportunity. It is against the Panthers, though, which is a bit of a worry. Josh Cohen in the 13. Let's wait a week or two on Joshy Boy. Wait until maybe 18 or 19 before he gets his opportunity. We should, yeah, we need to see what happens when Aiken comes back. Does he get, does he just take Murchie's spot? Uh, does he get put in the centers? There's a few question marks there. Uh, definitely. Ch uh, Ch Ch Chanel harris David is the one that gets punted to the uh, interchange after not a great game from him, and Johnson keeps his spot. So Arthurs and Pompey back in the centers, and Walshy, hopefully a decent game for him again. Panthers side of the ball, not much change as Yo comes back in. If you've got Abby Corrissau, just keep holding, but you obviously need a bigger game from him. Cleary returns to the best captaincy option up against the Warriors, and up to you what you want to do with Crichton, Tongo, May, and Edwards. They all should be having decent games against this Warriors uh, outfit, if we're being honest. All right, that's that. Moving along, up we go to Sharks v Titans on the Sharks side of the ball. Guys to bring in, really... No one other than Nico Hines and Cam McInnes. Cam's obviously been killing it lately. 60 odd minutes each and every game, getting around that 60 points. He is pretty close to a must have at a cheaper price. So Cam McInnes in the middle, you wanna be picking him up as soon as possible. Turner had a decent game as well. Brimson comes back after being COVID protocols. Personally, not gonna go near Turner, just you know, average side up against a decent side here in the Sharks. Uh, yeah, even if he plays well, same with McIntyre. He gets his third game now, no signs of Fafita yet, but That'll be a week or two away for David Fafita. All right, move on. We head up to Storm v Broncos. On the Storm side of the ball, Grant Anderson gets another opportunity. Let's just uh, leave him out of our size, not worry about him at the moment. Harry Grant's back in the nine jersey. Should be getting back to some decent scores the next two weeks before he's off for origin duty again. Brandon Smith, let's just avoid him for now, for sure. On the Broncos side of the ball, we see Tyron Roberts comes in for Reynolds. He's out for the one week. Payne has is named, as we thought but he is looking like a potential game day decision. So let's make our decisions later in the week. I spoke about in the round results video, which you'll see in a second tonight. That Haas is a, uh, if he's out, he's gonna be a trade, but we have him in the third game of the round, which means that we could probably wait until then and make our decision trading, straight swapping him to another gun, for example. But Ezra Mam, a great option this week at that 360 something, 368 or whatever it was. Uh, still a good chance of making money. Should get a, a bigger role this week uh, without Reynolds there, even though he has been scoring well with Reynolds next to him anyway. That's really the big news on this side of the ball. Paddy Carrigan, I love as an option, just you know, with Origin a couple of weeks away now, uh, and the potential for him to get injured in this next one after this game, for example. You know, there's an in-between one standoff, standalone round there. So just be aware of that. I'll be looking to pick him up sometime then. Ruben Garrick, similar situation, having incredible scoring, but around 18 or 19 would be a good idea. Cole, let's just keep getting uh, use out of him. DCE is back, for example. We see Ola Kawatu absolutely dominating, and he's always going to be a solid option there. Obviously, missing round 17 is the main issue for him as well, but generally, being a, an incredible scorer. And we forgot to speak about Joey Tarpany, who's had an incredible bunch of weeks. And up to you if you want to pick him up now. He's, he's very close to, you know, he's currently the best uh, middle in the game, definitely. Uh, so you could definitely look to pick him up now before his price explodes, or you can wait till maybe 18 or 19, for example, like I'm thinking about with um, with guys like Ryan Madison. On the Cowboys side of the ball, not too much to talk about. We see Cotter come back, so if you own him, awesome work. He's going to get a big score this week. I am uh, pretty confident on that. Drinkwater's been great as well. Nanai comes back, and also Tamalolo uh, is continuing to do well. So on that side of the wall, we see Tom Gilbert out. So he's now a trade, like I spoke about last week anyway. Uh, and Lemmy Lou uh, gets his spot in the on the edge. So very interesting with, with Gilbert out that he uh, retains a spot. And Lukey out for the year, unfortunately. Very, very sad with the ACL. Okay, last one of the, the round here is the Dragon. So we spoke about Ramsey. He's having a solid one. He should be able to ha do okay against the, against the Rabbitohs here. But really, the main worry is how well they play as a squad. Benny Hunt's there as well. If you own him, continue holding. And on the bunny side of the ball, if you've got Ilias again, just keep holding him, not playing him week to week, but waiting for a score in round 17. Moving on, 
Murray, you could potentially pick up now or wait until 18 or 19 as well. Damian Cook, also great each and every week. So that's the team list, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Subscribe, like. I appreciate all you guys being here. We'll catch you in the next few videos. Plenty uh, in a row here, Wednesday and Thursday, ready for that Thursday night game. Very short turnaround, but we'll get through all the videos and all your questions. I hope you have a good one. See you later.